For years before war erupts over the Falkland Islands, Argentina is already in the middle of a war, a war with its own people. This is a country where it's dangerous, even deadly, to speak out against the government, and those who do often disappear into thin air, never to be seen again. It's part of a campaign of fear introduced by a military dictatorship that seized power in 1976. Ruling with an iron fist for the last five years, the dictatorship is now led by General Leopoldo Galtieri. As commander of the Argentine army, Galtieri is a firm believer in the adage, power grows out of the barrel of a gun. Galtieri was a military man. He looked at the world with the mindset of an Argentine military. And he began plotting with other hardliners in the armed forces. And their goal was to reassert the power and the strength of the military regime in Argentina. Galtieri's inner circle includes Admiral Jorge Anaya, head of the Navy, and Lamy Doza in charge of the Air Force. For these men, maintaining control is what matters most. That means silencing all opposition with a sinister form of repression known as dirty war. Dirty war is a technique used against subversive organizations. It consisted of lifting people, of capturing them, taking them to secret interrogation centers, and extracting everything from them. The word was processing them. It had a secondary effect as far as the military intelligence was concerned, was that it caused panic among the comrades of the person who'd been picked up, and the word was it disappeared, causing them to use the telephone to break cover to betray safe houses. So it had a multiplier effect against the subversive organizations. People usually refer to this as a war, the dirty war as a war. But actually, there was no war. This was state terrorism executed by the state against ordinary Argentine citizens. One of the state's most effective weapons is Alfredo Estes, often referred to as the blonde angel of death. Naval officer by day, ruthless plainclothes government agent by night. Promotion in the Argentine armed forces uh, corresponded to how well you performed during the dirty war. Classic example was the young naval officer called Alfredo Astiz, who would infiltrate any group that was suspected of being subversive, identify who the leaders were, and then they would be disappeared. 